We have a government in bed with an NFU leadership similarly welded to the idea of the massacre of thousands, thousands of mostly healthy animals, seemingly unable to hear the words of the scientific community that it will not work, deaf to the cries of hundreds of thousands of Brits who have signed the petition. Individual badgers will be going about their natural business as they have done for at least 250,000 years will be shot by marksmen with no experience of shooting free-running badgers in the chest in an experimental method, the humaneness of which will be judged on the noise the badger makes that is, as it is dying. And we fear many will crawl away, die of slow, painful death from injuries, starvation and infection. It will not even be known if any of these animals have TB at the time of shooting. As the majority of the public are against the badger call, this show today, people who could get here today, public figures and members of the public, nobody wants it, only a minority of people in the Tory government. And that is a disgrace, that is not democracy. It's a fight against the old-fashioned, bloody-minded, ignorant attitude that human beings and money and political power are all that matter. It's a fight for the rights of the other creatures on this planet. It is the government who can stop this senseless slaughter. It is the government that is insisting upon it. And it is the government we call on today to stop this bloody badger cult. If the humanity of society can be measured by the compassion it shows to non-human creatures, then should the cull go ahead? No. This, no. 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 <laughs> but history will judge us if that happens to have taken a terrible and unnecessary step backwards. Our point of view at London against the, the Carl is that the badgers being scapegoated for the dairy industry who are cutting corners after being pressurised by the supermarkets to provide cheap beef and dairy products for consumers. The dairy industry is not doing very well and hasn't been doing very well for a number of years. And bovine tuberculosis has really gotten a grip in certain parts of the country. And in order to satisfy their powerful friends and the industry, they're going ahead with culling up to 5,000 badges in this pilot cull. And then now, if this is deemed a success, looking to roll it out over 25 years to kill up to 100,000 animals. They think it's going to be a quick fix. It's not going to be the answer that they want. Scientific evidence is opposed against this. Even Krebs himself, who instigated the trials, used that. He is against this. We have a, a cattle transporter in Cheshire who has 189 convictions for TB, flouting TB regulations, and he's still a cattle transporter. Why is that? Why is that allowed? That is the spread of TB, not the innocent badger. Even if they manage to kill all the badgers, they're going to still have these outbreaks of TB, and it won't be down to the badgers because they'll be gone, and they'll realize that there's other reasons why it's spreading. The post-mortems are going to be very random, if any. How can we collate stats without post-mortems? And stats are what we need to establish how many diseased badgers, if there's diseased badgers. It speaks volumes of a deeply flawed, pointless exercise by the government. Do you know the way they're going to test whether badgers are being killed humanely? By seeing how loud they scream. That is an absolute disgrace. How can any ethical, moral person think that's acceptable? But then, these people are not ethical and moral people. Clearly, the Secretary of State believes he has no option. I say to him that he does. I say to him that he will earn the deserved respect and appreciation of the vast majority of the British public if he's courageous enough to abandon his stated policy and to work with us, with all of us, to end the scourge of bovine TB and to save that wonderful Mr. Badger. We will never give up. We will fight this cull as long as it takes to place it where it belongs in the history 
of barbaric acts. And we are going to say today, no. We will not be ignored anymore. We want you to stop this badger cult. We want you to stop it now before it even started. We hope the government, and particularly Owen Patterson, will listen and stop the coal. Um, this pilot coal is going to be a disaster for wildlife in the areas. Uh, don't kill the badgers, it's not their fault, man.